we are rescued, let's be having light. So that when they are bringing bill, we can pay the bill. But now we cannot be able to pay the bill because of there is no light. My name is Wale Pass from Amida TV and I'm live with you. My name is Raymond Echo. Raymond Echo. Raymond Echo. Okay. Mm. You are from Wistia, sir. I'm from Edo State. Edo State. Yeah. And you have been in this Ogu State now for how many years? We have been in this Ogu State for almost uh, six years now. Six years. So, how has been the government in the Ogu State? How has been everything? First of all, I'm a CDA in Ogu State. I'm trying to let uh, Ogu State government understand that today is not easy in this Ogu State with us. We are living in Ogun State, in Mowe precisely. The problem we have here is all about light. In my own community, there is no light. And we are begging the Ogun State governor to help us with light. For instance, now, in the area, we have a small transformer. The transformer doesn't, cannot carry the whole, the whole uh, estate. We call it estate. We cannot call it a community anymore. But now, we want the Ogun State to come and come to our rescue let's be having light so that when they are bringing bill we can pay the bill but now we cannot be able to pay the bill because of there is no light we want ogun state to come to help us and in ogun state again if you can put in hide in moe is good because there's a lot of things he will benefit in moe please we want the most important thing is that one we need infrastructure like we are talking about the roads number one we are talking about the lights we have lights, at least. The economy, the problem we are fighting, our people will say there is no food, there is no... At least things should reduce. Please, we need Ogun State, uh, the federal government, to come to our rescue and make sure we have lights. Going to Ubagun last year, there is no light in Urukole as a whole. Please, let him come to our rescue. Like this now, okay. That is, on a, that is okay. water. As now you are talking about Ogun State, Ogun State, Ogun State doesn't have light. Where exactly is life constant in Nigeria? Besides Abia State, they are they install their life now. I know. At least, when we are saying there is no light, at least. Before, we always have three times in a week. Okay. Or four times in a week. Well, now. But now there is no light since last year. There is no light at all. Uh, there is no how we can go and fight the government. or the, we are, Because when, you, when we went for protests, the protest becomes something else. They can adjust the protest to become something else. We don't want to go for protest. We are pleading with the government to come to our rescue and measure that to give us light in Ogun State. In, in that area in Ogun State, Urukole, at least from that Mowe as, as a whole. But in Urukole, there is no light in Urukole at all. That is a major thing we are begging the government to come to our rescue. We are not a, look, we know the road. The road is very difficult for the government to feed. Sometimes we have to be the one to feed the road as a CDA. But please, what we need now is light. We can do the roads in the little way. We can be doing it until we are done doing the road. Because with the road, you cannot fix the road one day. But the light issue, they should give us light. They should make sure we have light. Please. So generally in Nigeria now, uh, you know, Nigeria does not, we do not have light generally. Except the Abia State uh, government that just emerged and installed the uh, light. So that thing that happened in Abia State, whereas their governor installed light, how can we inculcate that in Nigeria that we can do that? In in, uh, we have uh, the government. Is only the, we can. It's, it's not only the president that can do this alone. Okay. We need the governors to stand to take care of their states mm. and make sure the state is okay for us. If the state is okay, there will be revenue to them. Look at Lagos State. They are developing, they are getting revenue, they are getting idea out there. They don't want to make the make money. But the thing is that one, they are putting things you know, in the road. The road, the road network is okay. The light, there is no place in Lagos that you see there will not be light. Even though there is no light, at least in a week, they see light four times in a week. But in Ogu State, light is a big problem. As we are sitting down here, there is no light. Please, if the governor can help us, forget about Abia Kota alone, face in my way here. We're still supposed to have light. Ogun State is close to Lagos. Let's have the, the air from Lagos to Ogun State. They are, they are the same thing. Please, we are begging the government to help us. And Nigeria as a whole, and Nigeria as a whole, I believe by the grace of God, it cannot be fixed one day. God will help us one day for the Grand Nigeria to be fixed. But I believe by God's grace, 
God will do the wonderful things to make Nigeria to be great again. Because those are the things. Look at women selling pure water. Pure water is very expensive now in Nigeria. It's not only the governor that is doing this. It's not only the, uh, the, the federal president that is doing this. Most of the governor can see that say, my state, this is the amount they will sell on pure water. They, sh they should give a, a, a constant price of everything is missing, like water. Look at water. It's very expensive now. A bag of pure water now is 500. Some people are selling for 400. Nobody can buy a bag of pure water now for 250, 150 the way it is before. Please, government, let the gov the president to talk to the, all the governments for them to know that they need to work. Let every local government chairman to come out and see what is happening in every local government so that they can tackle those things. Because we are the people facing the country. We are the people destroying the country. Please, let them know what they can do. Former cannot drink water. Former cannot see a good health. We are talking about light now. There is no light. We don't have who to meet to discuss about this light issue. If you run to the to the authority, they will not listen to you. They will do whatever they want to do. Please, government, look at this and come to a rescue. Where there is no light, let us be, have light. Even though it's four times in the week, at least let's be light. Please. Thank you very much. So what can you say concerning uh, Ghana that uh, just under us, then where they come to Nigeria and then everybody pursue them, that they should go to their state, they should go to their country, that uh, Ghana must go. And now we can see Ghana is better than Nigeria now. Well, you see, I keep on saying it. By the special grace of God, Nigeria will be great again. We cannot use our tongue to say our country mm. is dead. Mm. We should be praying for God to come to our rescue. Because what we are seeing today now, we cannot say, we cannot blame anybody. We don't need to blame the government, but we don't need to blame anybody. It's only God that knows who and who that is making this country be like this. But by the special grace of God, I believe in this government. I believe in this Nigeria. We must be great again. It's just for a little time. We are facing all those things. But please, government, we should work on our light. Ask the old president, please ask the governors to go through their own states and fix the states. Let there be light in the states. Some governor does not even know. They don't know what is happening. They should call the local government chairman and it's called the, all the CDC, the CDC chairman. Let them sit together and let them invite all the CDA chairman and meet with CDC chairman to fix this country. Because that is why they create CDC. CDC now have CDA. But all the CDA, we cannot work without the CDC. And CDC cannot work without the government. Please, government should work to the CDA. Mostly, what we call it CDA. We are, we are on darkness. Even the chairman, we are, we are, there is no light. They should help us. They should help us and put a light so that things can move forward for us. Please, Nigeria. Thank you, my brother.